welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Today I'm going to be making vegan egg rolls. So I have well, about a tablespoon of ginger, I've got some garlic, probably about five cloves. I have just a little bit of red pepper flakes as well. I'm going to add some olive oil. We'll start sauteing the ginger and garlic and red pepper flakes. Here's Primo wants to say hello. He loves being on camera. Alright, so we'll start by sauteing our ginger, garlic, and red pepper flakes. From there we're going to add in some mushrooms and I have a veggie slaw. So we're going to have eight ounces of cremini mushrooms that I've diced up and I believe it's ten ounces of the veggie slaw. And the final ingredient we'll add will be a little bit of tamari sauce, maybe a tablespoonful. We'll be back in a minute. So our ingredients are starting to saute. Turn up the heat just a little bit. A little bit we'll add our cremini mushrooms. Again that's eight ounces. So you can see what that's starting to look like. Smells great. Alright, so we're cooking today on an induction burner. Works well. I love to cook outdoors. So it makes for a great option. I do have a butane burner as well. I could have used the side burner on my gas grill. So, what we're doing now is we're making the filling for the vegan egg rolls. Once we get this all cooked, we'll have about 30 minutes where the filling cools down. That'll give me time to prep this kitchen and get set up to actually roll up the egg rolls. And uh, I'm going to bring out my uh, air fryer. It also has a convection oven. I'm going to bake them in the convection oven. So, while I have that 30 minutes when the filling is cooling, that's what I'll be working on. Primo's sitting right here off camera like he's my director. <clears throat> really starting to smell great. Okay, so just as the garlic gets golden, I don't want to burn it, I don't want to brown it too much. We're going to start to add in our mushrooms. I'm going to add in a little bit more olive oil, and I'm using extra virgin. I 
I don't want to add any salt at this point. Uh, we're trying to keep this filling as dry as possible. If there's a lot of moisture, we'll have to uh, dry it. Either let it drain, maybe hit it with some paper towels. We've got cardinals eating out of the bird feeder in my palm tree. I love cooking outside here. You hear all the nature, the birds. It, uh, it makes the chore of cooking, if one would say it's a chore, certainly one that's a lot more pleasurable. So it might be hard to see, but right now there's very little moisture in here. It's the way we want to keep it. I am going to add some fresh ground black pepper. So we're almost done sauteing the mushrooms. I'm going to add in, oh, maybe upwards of a tablespoon of tamari. It's a fermented soy sauce, and this is a low sodium. He can't stand not being on camera. <clears throat> All right, we'll do this one-handed. So, I feel like the mushrooms absorb some of this tamari sauce. I don't know if that's really happening, but they certainly take on a nice flavor with it. Yeah, I'm going to let this evaporate just a moment more, and then we're going to add in our veggie slaw. Yes, it's a 10 ounce package. One handed here. Let's see what kind of mess I can make. Again, I would say the goal is to lightly cook them, maybe have a little bit of crunch for the pieces of slaw. And they're going to cook further. Once we roll them in the egg rolls, they're going to cook anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes longer anyway. So now I'm trying to work on getting my veggie slaw down to the bottom where it's a little hotter. Little by little we're going to incorporate it all. All right, it's looking good. So Primo and I will be back in a minute. So it's been a few minutes, maybe three, and as you can see, there's very little moisture. So this is about where I'm going to stop the cooking process. I'm going to transfer it in a tray that I can put in the fridge to speed up the cooling process.
So there it is, that's our filling. We're gonna put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Not necessary, but for today's video, I wanna speed this process up. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna get set up so that we can bake these off, roll them. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes. That's what our filling looks like so far. It's delicious, I could eat it just like this. If you didn't wanna make egg rolls, you could probably put this into a dumpling and then add those to your soups or just steam them. Uh, so anyway, that's what we have so far. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, there's my director, Primo. So here's where we're at. The egg roll filling has cooled off nicely. I have one egg. I've added a little bit of sea salt and beaten the egg. That helps loosen the egg up. I've laid out, <clears throat> excuse me, I've laid out nine of the egg roll wraps. This is the brand I'm using right here. Um, so earlier I stated I was making a vegan egg roll. Well, I guess that keeps it from being vegan. So how about we'll say we're making vegetable egg rolls. All right, so I'm gonna roll up a few of these and I'll come back on the last two, show you how to do it. So we have six made so far. I'm gonna show you how to make these with the last two. Try and get a heaping tablespoon. And I wanna lay it in the center. Now, if you can see the corners, you want to go this way. So, fold towards this opposite corner and bring it back. You want to try and tuck it in. Make sure nothing's coming out of the sides. And give it about a half a roll. Now, I'm starting to flatten the edges out. And put a little egg wash on it. We're going to just fold it in. Same with this side. And then we're going to give a little bit more of the egg wash on the sides here. We're going to roll it up. Trying to keep that right in the center. Okay, now I have a little olive oil in here, not much. I like to just roll them a little bit just so they get us a very light coating. Now I want to start with the seam side up. Let's do one more. And again, heaping tablespoon right in the center. And again, this corner to this corner. Bring it back. Not too tight. Do the fillings in, half a roll, and a little bit of egg wash again. Hold it in. Again, we're going to roll it up. Make sure it's sealed good. A little bit of olive oil here. Not too much. And there we go. So I'm going to clean up and I'm going to go ahead and bake these off. I'm going to put it under the convection bake at about 400 degrees. They'll cook for anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes and we'll come back when they're done. I will flip them halfway. So that's why I started with the, se the bottom seam up. We'll let that brown a little bit, then I'm gonna turn it halfway through, and we'll come back when they're done. Here we are, 14 minutes later. So I cooked them outside at my outdoor kitchen in a Cuisinart air fryer. It also has a convection oven option which I did use. I set it at 400 degrees. You can see how nice and browned 
they came out. They look like they've been fried, but they're not. So again, my vegetable egg rolls. We're all about searching for healthy options for the foods we love. And uh, so anyway, this is one I've been making. My family loves them. I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Nono. My director over here, Primo, he says it's time to go play. He's been chomping at the bit. He's got his ball ready, so I have to head out to the yard, throw the ball a few times, and that's our plans for this afternoon. So we'll see you next time back here at the outdoor kitchen. Thank you for watching. All right. The duck sauce. I'm going to use the spicy brown mustard. It's really hot. You know what I say, I love to burn my mouth, so here we go. It's going to happen. Uh-oh. Issue with the mustard. Here we go. That's so good. We'll see you next time back here at Nono's Outdoor Kitchen. Ciao.